As part of proofreading and editing, make sure to leave time for looking at your citations and how you're documenting sources. Of course, one of the most important reasons to cite your sources properly is to avoid plagiarism, but citations go well beyond this. The entire system of scholarly communication depends upon scholars giving credit to which ideas they're using in their writing and where those ideas came from. Allowing the reader to go back to the original source that you have cited in your paper is an important part of the process, and following the trail of citations from source to source is a vital part of how ideas are communicated. To do this, you need to make sure that you are acknowledging your sources within the text of your paper, as well as providing a complete list of citations in the bibliography or reference list. There are several different citation styles in common use. Find out which style is being used in your class and make sure you follow that style precisely. The different citation styles will all convey the same basic information, but they will differ in how that information is presented. Here are a few examples from the three major citation styles of how to cite a text within the body of your paper. And here are examples of how these will look in your bibliography or reference list. You can find a lot of helpful information on citation styles online. The resources on the Purdue University Online Writing Lab, or Purdue OWL, are especially good. And while it's fine to use a citation generator, you need to proofread what comes out of those. Mistakes are not uncommon. Finally, you will want to mix up how you go about revising and editing your paper. It's important to spend some time on your own doing the careful work of looking at your paper structure and how your ideas are organized. But you will also need to show your paper to others in the way suggested here or in other ways so that you can get other perspectives on how your writing is communicating to other readers. During a busy quarter, it can be difficult to set aside time to do a thorough revision. However, planning ahead so that you have time to revise and edit will result in a much stronger paper. One great way to get some feedback on your paper is to visit the Hackroll Research and Writing Studio, where you can chat with someone. You can also send us a draft. Good luck with your writing and revision. Mm -hmm.